This is the Brangers Look with the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today we got a special unboxing courtesy of NECA. Uh, you'll see the review pop up on this in Super Unimportant Views. Seems like that's happening a lot lately. <laughs> Swear to God, one of these reviews will end up over here for the long form ones. Anyways, uh, if you guys don't know who this is, uh, this is the new Godzilla King of the Monsters movie. This is the new interpretation of Mothra. Uh, pretty excited for this guy. Or gal, I should say. <laughs> uh, once all the movie, so I'm not going to say too much in case you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, but uh, she, for the movie anyways, was probably like the least impressive one to me. Like design-wise, still cool, but just didn't have as much time to shine to some of the other monsters. Um, so, yeah. Makes me a little sad because I'm, I'm a pretty big Mothra fan, especially like Mothra Leo is my favorite. <laughs> God, I need an explosive that. Actually, can, Neca, can you make me a Mothra Leo? Like this, but hey, say. Awesome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess we'll get into it. Uh, packaging's pretty basic, kind of what we got with the Godzilla one. I like how you can see Mothra kind of floating here, but you don't see the uh, pole holding it up. That's pretty, pretty nice photoshopping there. But you do get to see the pole on the inside. Nice look of Mothra on the inside as well. Uh, actually, you know what? The background almost works for me if it wasn't for that stand. Because <laughs> it sort of looks like she's flying anyway. So they maybe could have hit that a little bit better. I don't know how. But like as a window packaging, that would have worked pretty well. Kind of wish, though, they would do like, like this would be a little bit more dynamic than what it really is. Uh, but anyways. Um, oh, God, I had a knife. There was a knife. I swear there was a knife. I got a Godzilla. I don't think he's pointy enough to open the pack of jeans. I'll take a screwdriver too. Like I'm not even picky at this moment. Hey, like so, right, Godzilla, you're out of the way for a minute. So, uh, cut the tape. Top section here. Get her unboxed out of here. Base. little stand uh, this on the other hand <laughs> might want to be a little careful there because these wings are kind of thin but ew, got a little bit of a uplift there might have to heat that up before we get to the official review uh, anyways though really really tiny kaiju super duper tiny uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs is in the box. All right, cool, we're good. See it right here. <laughs> All right, ball joint's intact. Everything's fine. Everything is peachy. It's quite, I kind of like little ball joints because it's kind of hard to snap them. But then again, it's also kind of hard to keep them in the socket. But, move this stuff closer, so just in case it wants to focus. Uh, wings look nice. Got a really nice texture into them. Almost kind of gives it a uh, kind of like a feathered feel to it. But the pattern on it's really lovely. I kind of wish it was maybe a little bit brighter. You can see the eyes a little bit better on the back section here. Yeah, it's pretty much the same pattern on top and bottom, right? Like a little bit different because this is all hand painted. Uh, but outside of that, Mother's face. Looks pretty good. Uh, from what I remember, maybe could use a little bit more coloring, but really nice. Got the metallic blue on the inside. The eyes seem like they're painted really well, which was an issue with the Godzilla, where like some of the paint kind of went over a bit, but I'm not really noticing that here. Uh, just noticing that one really, really loose arm. This one, not so much. Maybe. Uh, that one I might have to heat up. Just a little bit. Back legs move? Oh, the back legs do move. Oh, that one moves really easy. <laughs> this one. Yeah, it's like the ones, like one side's a little stiff, the other side not so much. Uh, the little screwdriver fell. Um, I want to see if these... Rotate, but no, those look like they're pretty well fixed in for other little claws there. Uh, but the wings are articulated. Move up by that far. Pretty decently down. Uh, these guys 
move up and down a little bit as well, it appears. Uh, that kind of looks like that could rotate, but I don't think I'm going to push it. Looks like it's pretty well fixed in there. Then, like, why would you really need to rotate it anyways? Because it's not like that. that's how that works in the movie. But, looks nice. I uh, for stand real quick. It's kind of like the cocoon when she comes out of it. And then you have this little base here. Um, was that how it was in the waterfall, though? Because I thought she just kind of, like, went into the waterfall and cocooned up. So... Base seems weird. Like, I almost kind of would like this to have been, like, rock or something. To kind of replicate the the environment a little bit. But this still looks pretty sweet. Uh, hopefully she stays on it pretty well. But we got the stand. I'll insert it in real quick. Now, question is, how does that hook on? I would assume, like, that kind of looks like she would rest on there. And then the lifty bit could probably go towards the front. To angle her a bit <laughs> at least if I had to make a guess cuz yeah there we go so once you get her on the stand it's pretty good I like that's translucent plastic too it's not like a metal rod so it it's noticeable but it doesn't it still blends in a little bit with the background which is really nice I, I guess on a on a shelf that actually kind of works really well for me because then she's not really taking up like that much space. Because she does have a lot of wingspan. But since she's going to be... Appears anyways to be a little bit higher than the monsters. And with your other Godzilla figures too. So if you have them um, sort of kind of displaying next to each other. She's kind of chill in the background. Uh, the stand like this though doesn't really afford like decent combat poses though. Like you kind of get it look like she's flying in. For the most part, but like a bendy stand would uh, help with the combat scenes a little bit better. If you're trying to depict them anyways, uh, sort of like a Tamashi stand. Uh, I don't know how much they could really do that though. Like this, this is this works. Like this is serviceable for display. Now if you really wanted to play with the, <laughs> with the darn thing, you just pop it off and whee, with the butterfly. Yeah, this would be great. Like, then we can have, like, we'll have a Rodan over here whenever that comes out. I know the, the packaging just got released from that. Put it right here. Uh, looks, well, looks the same as all the other ones. So it's like, I'm excited, but eh, not really. Uh, more so just excited for the figures. Because, like, this moth are, like, at least from what I can see right now, is actually really nice. Like, it runs you, like, about, like, 22, 25 bucks, depending. Uh, so both of them are about the same price. Granted, you get a lot more plastic with this, but so far I'm, I'm digging the moth. Digging the moth. It's just like getting these, this, and then the rodent eventually kind of makes me uh, sad that we're more than likely not getting the Ghidorah. Hopefully maybe at San Diego they might show something off and maybe they were lying to us this entire time. God, I hope so. I don't, I don't think he's going to do it for me. <laughs> Sad to say, uh, I do have the Ghidorah on order though, so we don't have to worry about those problems. Um, but, at least so far, like, if you weren't planning on buying the Monster Arts ones, like, these seem pretty serviceable. Especially from what I've seen, um, they just unveiled that we're getting the Motha on the Rodan in a two-pack as well. For the Monster Arts one, I think it's like 110 for the pair. And she looks like she's going to be about like just as impressive, like a little bit more coloring. And different plastic used for it. But for the most part, you're going to be getting relatively the same thing. Be kind of neat though. It's got like a little bigger stinger on the back. Be kind of cool. Like a little swap out part for that. Um, uh, that or I want like string. <laughs> be able to dive in. <laughs> at my monsters, you know. Oh uh, God, I feel like, like for her skit, I should just go get a can of silly string to spray the other monsters. That's a maybe. I'm, I might try to do that today <laughs> uh, for the official review anyways. What you can look forward to that over up on Super Unimportant Views. Uh, hopefully it should be out probably the next day after this one is when I'm gaming. Uh, so make sure to look forward to that. Monster Arts Godzilla is on his way now. So that review should probably be out towards the end of the week. That one, 
I don't think we're going to do an unboxing because both the figures, like, I'm going to hardcore review that come out of that one, so they're just going to get reviews. We're going to bypass that one. But anyways, you guys excited about Mothra? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Pinterest. If you guys would like to keep up to date with the channel, make sure to go follow those or donate. And almost defeat those guys just by hitting that like button. Subscribe to come Ranger Day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.